Renewed concerns tonight surrounding ambulance response times in Chatham County. Thanks for joining us at 530. I'm Sam Bauman and I'm Madeline Hahn. Two shooting victims, a man and a woman drove themselves to the hospital. One of the victims say they waited way too long for help to arrive. Our Camille Syed joins us now and has been following this story very closely. She joins us from where the shots were fired. Camille. Sam, Madeline, the shooting happened here near the Cooper Center. But can you imagine enjoying a family reunion one moment and then being knocked to the ground with a bullet in your arm the next? That was a reality for one woman who was actually about three blocks down the road from here where the shooting took place. I spoke to her brother who has safety concerns and concerns with a lack of emergency response. I spoke to him anonymously because the shooter still hasn't been arrested. We was down there, you know, celebrating. A Garden City Police report says a woman who asked not to be named was standing outside her cousin's house for a reunion on 8th Street, talking about attending church. And after a while, we just started her hearing it almost sounded like firecrackers. That's when her brother, speaking to me anonymously, tells me he saw her on the ground. I kept hearing her say I was hit, I was hit. But before all of this, police got a gunshot alert three blocks away on 5th Street and Davis Avenue. It confirms a bullet from a shooting at that location traveled three blocks and hit her in the arm. I uh, took the shirt off that I had at the time and tied a tourniquet on it. He says they waited what felt like about 10 minutes for an ambulance to come. She was flush and was sweating real hard. And I told her, I said, we're not going to wait any longer. So I put her in the car and I took her to uh, Memorial Hospital. Chatham Emergency Services CEO Chuck Kearns tells WTOC an ambulance was en route immediately and that the patient's bleeding was controlled. Kearns says the ambulance was told by police to stage, meaning stand by out of sight until police deem the area safe. While they were staging, he says the ambulance was diverted to a separate life-threatening emergency. I asked how long the ambulance was staging before being sent to another emergency. Kearns told me he couldn't find that information. Kern says the police told EMS the scene was safe and then the first two EMS units arrived, but the patient had already left. I asked how long it took for that EMS unit to get to the scene after it was considered safe, and he said he didn't have that information. Garden City Police Supervision tells me officers were adamantly requesting an ambulance before the female victim's brother decided to take her. He tells me he also heard police asking for the ambulance before he left. I heard the police officer saying, I've called for the ambulance twice, where are you? He tells me he understands things happen, but in the future. They could have been a little more effective because uh, the police, the Garden City Police was there within an instant. WTOC also spoke to the uncle of the male victim who was shot on Fifth Street, who happens to be Garden City District 4 Councilman Richard Lassiter. It was definitely a shock at first, but I had to put on my professional hat. He says his nephew was in critical condition, but is now recovering. He says he's heard about safety concerns in that area, and this shooting hitting home has him pushing for change. He's hoping more patrols and cameras are coming to the area. I met with my city manager the day after, which was a Sunday, and we walked the community, and we come up, we, we're coming up with some a plan of action to be proactive instead of reactive here going forward. Also, I just want to let the community know that we're not going to let this one hiccup, you know, make us feel unsafe. We're going to continue to build our community. Garden City Police are implementing a Cops at Bus Stops campaign in the area to better reach children and their parents. We are here first and foremost to help and make sure that the citizens of Garden City are safe. If anybody has any information about that incident or any of the other incidents, feel free to come to us. We Again, no arrests have been made in this shooting, and it is still an ongoing investigation. Reporting live in Garden City, Camille Syed, WTOC News.